so it'll be so anyways in the meantime thank you so much for both for you people who were interested in in this project and and also the teachers from all over with different times thank you so much for making it here today and so well most of you know me already but for those who don't i'm the director of this incredible magical fabulous project and school called the transmission school and many of these are some of the incredible magical wonderful amazing teachers and uh, well here we even have a student tonight so that's lucky we have the testimonial of a real student <laughs> and uh, also we have some volunteers who worked with us last year so they can also say something and uh, well this is a school that was born really from a project of a uh, Yes, someone else. Um, uh, a lot of experience, let's say, because we were living, uh, several of us, in an eco village for almost 20 years. And so there we had some schools, and then we, we realized how important it was to give uh, the possibility to people of all ages a really different kind of education and an education which is not uh, pushing and, and putting notions in people's head, but really bringing out their full potential and that really um, showing people that it's all possible, that they are absolutely able to empower themselves because we're all so much, there is so much magic and so much power in us. And it's just always to, to be a mirror and to, help people take this out from the Latin ex ducere, which is the real word of the education. And so uh, actually some of us have been working for a long time, some of us here are teachers, and we've been working on this project for a long time. And in the years, we also decided that this was gonna be a school for young adults who really want to uh, start being change makers for themselves and for, for everyone around them and for their community and for the world. And, and also for adults who are young inside, who still, because in the end, we, we're always here to learn. No, all of us are always learning. And until we learn, we're young. And so this was really a school for, in a way, all ages, but really someone who chooses. It's not, we saw that with younger people, sometimes it's the parents that throw them in and then it's a babysitting and it really isn't about that. It's really a choice to come to a school like that because you change. And I'm not gonna say a lot because uh, I'm a uh, subpartis, but I'm gonna let uh, the teachers say what they each bring. And every, we actually have an open day now for the next month and a half, almost every week, one uh, in English now, then we have an Italian one, then we have a, a Monday break and then we have an English one and an Italian one and then the next is at 9 p.m mm -hmm. and then the other two will be at 7 p.m and so perhaps if some of you have a chance to come to the others you might see some of these teachers but there'll be all others because I think we have like 27 teachers 28 teachers in this school and this is a program of three months and so I'm not going to even lose a lot of time of how the program is and what the day is because that's all on our website and perhaps most of you have already seen this uh well the, there's various videos as, of, as well but um yeah the best is really to just listen to what these teachers are bringing and you will understand the energy of and the level of what's been brought so i would pass the the word to molly who's a uh, not just a yoga teacher, but she is bringing especially a, a program, an incredible program to actually become and really understand yoga and become a yoga teacher. So I'm going to leave you, Molly, the word. Sure, Thank thanks. Thank you so much, Pushpa. And um, just so, so wonderful for all of uh, you joining us to learn about the program. And it's always so wonderful, of course, uh, I think a, a big part of this 
not only program, but school is really the integrative nature and the sense of community amongst the teachers. So it's always such a pleasure to see all of your beautiful faces out there across the, the globe and, and a beautiful reminder of how many treasures are really woven into the entirety of this program. Uh, but as Pushpa said, I am a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and also a yoga instructor. And what I will be sharing with the summer program, with the, the three month program, is actually a three week course that we are structuring as a yoga teacher training. So an introductory yoga teacher training. Uh, it's not necessarily necessary to become a teacher through this program. Uh, I often like to kind of market these more introductory teacher training programs as simply a way to move a little bit closer to understanding what the yoga of life is. I work from the classical Hatha yoga tradition and we do use the physical practice as an entry point to the world of yoga, but we know, I think most people are familiar with yoga as something physical. And in actuality, it is a complete lifestyle and philosophy that guides us in the direction of releasing from the fear as human beings and as creatures in this life, and also teaches us how to become more and more honest in our self inquiry so that as we broaden and expand back out into life, our quality of life and our interactions with life are also resonating at a much higher level, bringing us a lot of happiness, a lot of flourishing, a lot of creativity, all of those good juicy words that you can imagine. Um, you know, it's always good to insert your own words into every sentence, all of those wonderful things that we believe we're striving for in life, yoga, can be one of the structural guidelines that leads us in the direction of really embodying and manifesting all of that. And so the program is a three-week program. I will be sharing time in those three weeks with some other magnificent teachers. So it's going to be a really interesting look into not only the yoga of life, but incorporating um, some other programs into that. And my colleague Massimo will be with me also for one of the weeks. And if you have ever been introduced to Hatha yoga, uh, it is definitely a very structured and kind of scientific look at yoga. Um, but our individual school called Three Treasures Yoga is a very heart-centered school. And Massimo is a musician and I am also learning to be a musician. So we bring a lot of the, the bhakti and expression and, and devotional aspects of, of yoga into the, the program. Um, hmm. What else to say? Is that good, Pushpa? I can keep talking for, you know, half an hour. <laughs> but I feel like... No, that's great. That's great. Because then they put that at the end of some space if uh, people want to ask or if there's any questions or sharing. So that's super. Thank you, Molly. Yeah. And maybe just just really quickly, it's it's nice to to also look at in in a brief sort of um structure of how a day of of a yoga teacher training looks and and we always do begin the morning with a practice and meditation and breathing exercises and then we take time in the classroom setting to explore the philosophy of yoga and to dive a little bit deeper into the reasoning behind all of the practices that we use as tools to begin to embody the life of yoga. Uh, Massimo, as I said, brings some of the, the chanting and expression uh, in the practice of yoga and also anatomy. So we do have uh, the scientific side, we have the philosophical side, and of course the foundation of all of it is the experiential side. And for me, one of the most special things about doing a teacher training in this way, where you really have a through line for three weeks with the same thing, is that it gives us a more intimate look at ritual and symbolism in our lives and how much 
keeping a any kind of ritual from lighting a candle to actually having your own yoga practice creates a scaffolding that really becomes the foundation and the foundational scaffolding for all of your explorations in all aspects of your life. So it's a really special opportunity also to dive into that sort of ritualistic living. I know that's a bit of a charged word, but to really create some positive habits that you will, after three weeks of doing them continuously, will become so spontaneous and so natural as a, as a carrier, as a canoe uh, down the river of life. Thank you. Thank you. So who feels like going next? Go, Hanako. Okay, <laughs> because I also overleap with uh, Molly in the timing, and um, I, I'm actually going, to, my name is Hanako, and um, um, so I'm going to, um, to teach a module which I called um, A Lively Journey into the Inner Worlds. And um, um, well, some of you know that um, I already, um, give aura and chakra readings for the last 25 years, which is quite of a, a lot of experience. And uh, um, I decided a couple of years ago to, um, to teach people that, you know, how to read <laughs> and how to um, also a little bit, um, because for me, yoga, when I was 17, I started to do that. And I think that partly because of the yoga, uh, this also, you know, um, came alive to be able to have this sensibility or so-called a psychic power or psychic abilities um, to be able to do that. And um, in, in those days, um, I'm going to give you an introduction how to do that, how to read, how, how you can um, tune into the... Um, uh, in the in the infinite and in the soul body, and, and help people to to um, to find this you know to to be uh, connected with source, and live from the source. So this is a part of one of the modules that I'm going to teach, and the other module is um, um, because of my long time practicing in feng shui, and uh, uh, geomancy. Uh, which I call Tao Geomancy Works. And uh, that module I called um, Beautiful Earth, and it's an introduction uh, into the, the layers of, the, of our planet and um, helping the, the, the planet, um, well, actually to be able to read what's going on with our soil, with, with our earth, with certain spots and places. Um, um, and then actually help, so to say, um, learn from the historical um, phenomena, um, um, imprints, um, stress fields, vortexes, et cetera. And then uh, interact by finding these spots and places and being able to connect to them, to give them a certain release so that we can uh, free free a certain area, a certain land stroke to to feel to feel happy and to um, to feel one. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hanako. Thank you, dear. Okay, who wants to go? Yeah. Now? I have very few time, so if I can speak now. PC vai, per favore. <laughs> I'm sorry, my English. In Push, but you can help me if I need. So I I will teach you uh, dyeing and echo printing. Dyeing is an ancient technique, and uh, so we start studying this uh, technique. I uh, I'm Marianna Sauro, and uh, I um, always have, have been very interesting in um, self-production of colors from nature. So uh, colors from plants, color from minerals. And uh, uh, I discover this uh, eco-printing technique 
that is a new technique, very, very magic for me. And uh, so I, I will teach you, uh, starting from dyeing, different uh, fabrics, so silk, wool, cotton. And after, um, uh, we will, um, we will um, collect many plants around in the fields and the, in the woods around us. And uh, we use them to, to do eco printing. Eco printing is a, um, a technique where you use the leaves or the roof uh, or flowers sometimes, and uh, you can um, tra transfer on the fabric the, the shape of the plant and also the color of the plant. So it's very, very magic. You, you can collaborate with nature to create something very artistic. So I don't know if you want to add something, uh, Pushpa. That you can produce the most incredible clothes for yourself that look like if you were really a fairy in the forest because it's just so incredibly beautiful and we were lucky to do this last year for the first time with Mariana and it was really really fun what we made what so beautiful so yeah I really advise you come and do this course <laughs> thank you Mariana I leave uh, you now. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, grazie. See you. I hope. I hope to see you. <laughs> Ciao. Summer. Bye. Ciao, Madonna. Okay. Anyone else? Slide. Can I? I'll speak then. Bye. Yes. Okay. I will be working with uh, theater, um, but the theater that I, we will be playing with actually has a very special twist to it because usually one imagines that the actor is contacting the other person which is true contacting the audience but the special twist we have in our uh, theater uh, understanding is that first the first uh, 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 thing that we need to do is to contact the audience which is inside of ourselves it is that audience which is a witness to our own lives so that is what uh, that is where we uh, first begin with, but then we also uh, uh, play with that part. And we, we discover our voice, and we find we try to find out also what is burning inside of us. We want to find out what is there, which is burning, which wants to, which wants to explode, which wants to connect, which wants to uh, give its message. So we look for that. And we play, play intensely. We uh, have fun, but very soul-satisfying fun. And we work a lot with our emotions. We find out where they live inside of, our, of, of us. Where, what, are, what are the addresses of our emotions? And uh, we also work with ritual. And uh, we have a very good time. And it's very strong, intense, but playful and loving. So hope to see you there. Thank you. You want to say something, Emma? She she'll say a lot more in the Italian part of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do the group together. Yeah, I work with music in order to sustain the field and uh, um, and help the process to unroll smooth. <laughs> and uh, yes, this is it. Thank you. See you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Satyamo. <laughs> Okay. I can go on Bye. if you want. Yeah. I'm Rita and I live in Switzerland. I'm half Italian, half Swiss. And I have been teaching last year in a transmission school and I have been doing the end of the whole teachings of the whole school. So this was a kind of wrapping it up, everything to giving the chance to everyone to integrate all they had learned during a month or more. So I brought the breath, breath work and the kind uh, the technique of breath work that we practice is called the conscious connected breathing. 
and it's all about breathing consciously. So it's really a focus on the conscious uh, breathing. And we do sessions, we prepare the sessions, usually in the morning, we do some uh, workshop about our shadow, our inner child, our uh, things that we still keep inside and that want to be seen and heard. And then in the afternoon, usually we have a breast session that really brings us to those depths uh, where we want to go, where the depth that we want to reach. And in the end, it's a wonderful tool. Just go out into the world, having a tool that makes you feel safe in every situation. So the breath is just the one tool that we always have with us. It's just right under our nose. And we don't need anyone to breathe or anything. We just need the consciousness and the awareness of being able to bring so much change into our life just by breathing, by becoming aware of, of our breath and through the breath of who we are. So, yeah. We will also have fun, as Satyamo said, we have fun. We will also have tears. We will have everything. The whole range of feelings will be there. And uh, the goal is to have people ready to go out into the world and we all learned everywhere in the world. <laughs> And I'm very much looking forward to be there and to teach you and to have a good time with all of you. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Rita. Grazie. Joanne, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello. Um, so I know most of you already on the call. I think two or three people I have met before, but uh, just for those who don't know, uh, I teach the module in off-grid living. And here in Ireland, I live in a tiny house uh, on a farm in the west of Ireland. Uh, I, I dug my own well, I have my own water system. I try and generate as much electricity myself from wind and sun. I grow my own food and I built a tiny home with the carpenter in 2017 and from sustainable materials and salvage and recycled materials and uh, really I do three days of uh, exploring off-grid projects and ideas and housing and shelter making and uh, ways and organizations that can help us and people and connecting a global network of volunteers and artistic and creative people who can help you build your dream and uh, I think we are we're, this year we're going to be a little bit more practical because last year we were a little bit academic so uh, this year we're going to build a compost toilet <laughs> so uh, the art of uh, dealing with your own shit so looking forward to seeing you <laughs> so nice so nice and uh, I can't wait. And I'm sending you a virtual hug right now. Miss you all so much. Thank you. Thank you for being so down to earth, Joanna. We need that. <laughs> Super. So, so I would love to, if one of the volunteers or, or one of the students here says two words, and then we give some space to our guest here if they want to ask something. Would you like to add something, Angelica? Yes, of course I can. Hello, everyone. Hello, teachers. Hello, hopefully, future students. I am um, a past student. I was supposed to be here for one week. I came initially for one week. A year later. Um, <laughs> and one year later, I'm still here. So I enjoyed so much the school that um, yeah, we, we established these deep connections between me and the people and the place and the, 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 all the different discover, discoveries that I, that, I, that I have done in these 
one month because last year was one month program and it was so full that my life completely changed in just in just 20 20 days i don't know i've experienced so many things and um it gave me so much that i felt to be really part of it and that this is part of my path so yeah it's incredible the the, the environment the people the the, the 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 exchange the connections the knowledge that we all have within us and it's just it's just it comes out it comes out through the the beautiful teachers that can take it up from you um, by 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 yeah by explaining you what you have always knew maybe but you were not aware of um so yeah for me it was so important and yeah i'm looking forward to to leave all the process again and to know the teachers that i couldn't follow because i came a little bit later uh but yeah i'm looking forward so yeah i hope to see you there thank you thank you lou or julia would you like to share a few things from your point of view Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> so I met uh, Crazy Pushpa two years ago, and uh, then it was the beginning of a beautiful journey for me. So last year I was a volunteer with Julia, like to help the coordination of the school, and I had a chance to 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 meet her. And it like was a really deep, transformative, and playful experience. And uh, yeah, maybe what I can share, I mean, apart from the amazing um, teacher that we have and the courses and so on, is the community life uh, that was for me like really important. And what I love is like we all live together. So also with the teacher. Uh, so for example, we have the chance to clean the dishes with an echo and to then transform into a dancing party. And so, yeah, for me, that makes me connect uh, again with um, with like the tribe, the tribe feeling of being human and all the connection and possibilities of life when we are all living in the same place. So it can be one to one conversation or it can be like singing, it can be just going to the pool and and play. And so for me, it's it's such an holistic school where we really explore everything and all the parts of our human being and to reconnect um, with what makes us come alive at the end. So yeah, I really miss this feeling uh, that I felt uh, last year and I'm so looking forward to to feel again. Um, yeah, to to feel more the, the being human and what we could be as human on this planet. So yeah, Perfect. that's for me. <laughs> Julia, do you want to share something? Uh, yeah, I'll just add something as well. Um, first of all, I feel very uh, a lot of love right now for all of you and a lot of warmth in my heart. And uh, what I would like to share is that sometimes for me, there were basically a lot of surprises in this course. And sometimes, you know, I would read the course title and be like, but what is this? What is this about? I have no clue or the description, you know, it, it's something that is not familiar. And then actually it was like so many beautiful surprises because it's like, I don't know, a lot of unexpected magic happens pretty much every day. <laughs> so, um, so yes, this is what I wanted to say. And that for me, especially now in these times, it's such so important to, to reconnect and to come together again. And I just can't, think of a better place than transmission school for this kind of reconnection. So, so yeah, I really can't wait to come back <laughs> and to see you really for, for real. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Julia. So, so now, as we're not many tonight, if, if any of you have any questions or, you know, or some feedback, please, it's your space, you are guest. Remember to 
to undo your microphone on the unmute yourself on the left. Come on, guys, don't be shy. <laughs> Well, it's all day. Well, let me introduce you to my friend Anurada. Ah, yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Anurada. She's going to drive me to Italy. <laughs> yes. We'll, I will drive her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will be that. nice. Yeah. And I'm also interested uh, because Hanako told me uh, lots about the transmission school. And I was following, following you all uh, by Instagram. And uh, it was nice to see how it was uh, transforming. And um, she told me what she did over there. And I was really interested. So I'm curious. Uh, I will be there the, uh, the beginning of June and uh, hope to meet you all. Fantastic, Anurada. Great. <laughs> Such a beautiful so, name. What does it mean, Anurada? Um, it means a bright star. Ah, beautiful. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Pushpa, can I introduce Marketa? If Marketa would like to um, introduce herself. Marketa uh, works with me in Ireland and she's an amazing contemporary dance teacher and uh, really artistic and creative. And mm -hmm. she's done a dissertation on landscape and dancing. So Marketa, if you'd just like to introduce yourself to Pushpa and the gang and Yeah, great. Thank you, Joanna. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, this is really great to be here and uh, see uh, so many beautiful smiles. <laughs> and um, sure, uh, yeah, thank you talking about school uh how much it means for you it also means for me that you're really uh creating family there and i think that's a really important thing uh, to know and feel and uh yeah as jonah was saying um uh, i'm interested in uh, your school because she was talking loads about uh, transmission school and i also met you um um, I'm not, I, I cannot actually remember your name, but uh, from the transmission school, uh, you, you are the creator. I met you in Ireland, um, if you remember me as well. Yes, yeah, yes, I did. Yes, yes. When you were in Gireum, if you remember. Yes, I do actually. Yeah, that's quite a good few years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, yeah, I lived in Ireland so many years, but uh, I'm originally from Czech Republic. And um, uh, yeah, and I teach here uh, in performing arts. Um, I teach movement and I also teach dance and my background is in contemporary dance, but I'm mainly interested in uh, dance improvisation and contact improvisation. And also in body work and body mind. So uh, everything what is kind of connected with, um, with, uh, with body, but not just the body, with ourselves, yeah, with ourselves, with the soul, with the spirit, and then to kind of transform it to dance and to movement. And uh, also, as Joanna was mentioning, um, when I did my master's, I, um, I was very much uh, interested, not just that time, but in landscape, yeah. Um, uh, since my childhood, I'm constantly living with the nature, landscape, I'm also interested in herbalism and gardening and um, uh, working with energies. Um, and then I was really interested how these two can be combined and mixed together, a dance movement and landscape. And uh, I came across to uh, body and landscape. I don't know if you ever heard about it, uh, body weather, uh, which is more um, uh, connected kind of technique with Bhutto which is kind of dense between uh, um, birth and the death. And uh, this was really focused on how to embody yourself in the landscape and reflect back to your movement and to your dance. And uh, yeah, so this is something what I'm really interested in. And your school sounds really great because there are so many things that students can actually take and, and really transform and, and I'm sure that can bring it back to the life. And, and I'm sure that for you as a teachers, um, it's great as well because you can learn lots as well. 
And what I'm really interested in is to, if it's even possible, maybe that's the question, yeah, which I have now. If it's even possible, like be student, but also if there is any space for another lecture, you know, if there is this possibility as a student or even as a lecture. So I don't know. I don't know if you have. Um, so I will answer that. It's so incredible what you're bringing and it sounds so beautiful and sounds so connected to what we are all about. It's, it's clearly we're on the same page, I would say. So yeah, we, we'd like to definitely have your contact and connect. And at the moment, this year is so booked up that some other, uh, we had some other proposals and we really want to have these teachers, but we're gonna have to, we're already with Angelica, who's actually, she was very modest, but she's doing all the, the back office and the office and everything. She's taking care and the fundraising and everything. So, so we are already looking at 2022 because we really have more, you know, more and more planned up. We have some teachers who've already come. This is the second year, but we'd like other teachers as well to come because there's always so much to, yeah, to share and so many possibilities. So, so please, Joanna will maybe pass us your contact and we can talk. This year we have incredible Spanish dancer bringing actual dance and we have Biodanza with this uh, Laura. And uh, so, yeah, so they're the main teachers bringing dance because we're always trying to, every day we have something of, with the soul, with the intellect, with the body and earth. So you mm -hmm. see, we're on the same page now, but mm -hmm. the, the, all this is very important for us. And the, all of this no, and music and, and, but also manual things and, and everything that has connection with earth, even at a deeper level. So yeah, there's a lo lot of this. So, so yes, please, we'll, we'll connect. And if you have a chance of coming as a student, because in a way we have uh, uh, the teachers that we have, have all been students and we have been their students in the sense that we've been studying with, with them for years. This is why we asked them to come. And they have also come to our school and done some of the subjects, you know, or, or a course, because then they really feel if they connect, if they feel, and this is how, and we've been working for years together. So, mm. yes. So I hope yeah. you manage to come and even if it's a little course to just feel the school and, and mm. see, I'm sure it will resonate, but yes, it would be amazing. Yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, I even, I, I just uh, get that question out and uh, I, I just thought, why not, you know, when yeah, I have a chance to uh, ask. So, yeah, I will. Yeah. Adriana, and I, don't... I would like to add something on that uh, because actually there is, um, so for us it's important that's also participant because most of you also come with many talents and with many things with you. And so there is the morning practice each morning and that is like open to participants also to propose things. So last year we had somebody uh, uh, doing dancing, yoga or different like even connecting exactly. with plants and tree. Um, so for us, it's really important that there is this uh, talents and competency exchange. And there are also some evenings where people could propose something. Mm -hmm. So that could be also a way for you. So not like an entire course, but some morning or evening practice to share your talent with the participant, that there is really this possibility as well. That's great. Great to hear. Thank you. Thank you. And did you can I just ask for one more question? Um, you mentioned it's for three months, but is there option even for less or uh, yes. I know there is even option for more, is it? Is it? Yes, for the moment we're, we're doing, we're offering a three months course and it's going to be the summer because that's when uh, many people can actually take the time. But people, uh, we have some students that are coming for one month and some students who will also come for chosen courses, so usually a week. Some mm -hmm. courses are even four days, but on the whole, people will come for weeks or the whole month or two weeks, or, or they do like Angelica. Several students did that. They came for a course and then they stayed the whole time. You know, that happens. You don't want to leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 
But yeah, you can even only come for a week or two or the whole month or clearly we're gi giving more um, uh, priority to the students who come for the three months who can because there's a special bonding that happens, a special work that we're doing together and, and even a project that is done in these three months together. But people can even come for the singular courses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great to know. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and thank you for the useful questions. Anyone else wants to share? Ibrahim, would you like to ask something? Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you all. I am enjoying your uh, speech and everything you said. My name is Ibrahim. I am a Palestinian uh, civil engineer, and I am uh, uh, working, uh, studying uh, Master of uh, Environmental Studies, and in, I am a specialist in uh, wastewater treatment of the planet and uh, how to make uh, things sustainable more. Uh, I would like to join this program, and uh, uh, I am okay with what you said. I I live in eco village uh, in Israel. I and uh, great opportunity and i would like to join your uh, program uh, there's uh, uh, something in you you will add it to, to me because transmission school is is unique for me and it's my first time uh, i will uh, join something like uh, this uh, but i have uh, a lot of things that i can add it to your program in uh, sustainability and how to can uh, use the and produce the alternative uh, uh, energies and that's it. i hope to see you in summer if i have the chance to come thank you ibrahim great yeah we hope you can really make it thank you can make it possible inshallah <laughs> super Okay, anyone else wants to say something or feedback? Yes, I could say something. <laughs> Go ahead. I could uh, tell you who I am. I am Michelle. I'm from Switzerland and I'm a singer and a dancer and uh, a mother, a mother of five. And I have been a doula for 20 years now. And I have been a doula trainer for 14 years already and I just come from um, teaching doulas, train doulas and being a doula for me is just being there for people during special times so as birth or death or, or lifetime when everything is changing and you don't know who you are <laughs> and doulas they just be they are there um, to let people find their inner strength, their inner wisdom, and just to bring it out into this world. When it is a baby, so of course you can see a one, wonderful uh, baby as a product, yeah, as we say. Um, and and if it's you, it's there is so much beauty in you. And um, yeah, when when we can see your flower blooming, and uh, we just can see your magic, your light. Uh, then we know that we have done a good job. And uh, I have been to the transmission school last year in autumn when uh, Rita gave this breathwork workshop and I was really happy to get to know you there, your students, you, Pushpa, Vito, and uh, all the wonderful teacher, teachers I have met. And um, I was really impressed by the landscape. I was impressed um, by the way you are there for people, you're cooking, nurturing, and just waiting for them to bring it out. <laughs> Where do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, to encourage people and uh, just to be there and have the time. Give the time and just have the time and the patience to wait, to wait till the birth is there. Yeah, and so I will, will be very happy to join you again. And uh, who knows, sometimes, or 
in the future, perhaps. We can't I can wait. You. I will bring the doula um, training to the Podere Fiorli. Yeah, we can't yeah. wait. <laughs> I would I would love to to bring some of my modules to Italy to Tuscany because it's really wonderful and here in Switzerland I teach them for one year and a half through several modules and uh, I'm just thinking it over whether I could bring some modules together to give people the chance to to do it yeah, just to to learn something from the beginning and then to go home and just to integrate and uh, yeah, perhaps to come for more modules. Yeah. Super, Michelle. Yeah, and you are, of course, invited to come to Switzerland Thanks. to learn more about what a doula is and what she does and what she does not. <laughs> Super. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for having me here. It was very interesting to get to know you all. And I'm happy that there are so many people around this globe who are just doing this wonderful, wonderful and important work. Thank you. And thank you for sharing really how thank you, you, you bring. Me. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Okay. Anyone else wants to say something? Tamara, would you like to share something or do you have any questions? Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just I'm just listening. Um, interested in listening. Um, Joanna, as Marquetta said, Joanna has spoken about the transmission school a lot. Um, it sounds incredibly interesting and a lot of wonderful skills there that I would love to um, benefit from. But um, myself, I'm not not in a position to be able to come over. I have my child at school and if I'm, with the current uh, world um, paradigm, I, I, I have tried wish to partake in, in what's going on. Um, but myself, you know, I'm, I cook, I'm a passionate lover of food and health and well-being. I forage, I ferment, I make wine, I make my own beauty products, my, my own skincare. Um, and I'm just interested in a, in a sustainable lifestyle um, and creating everything myself, you know, in a, insofar as I can. Um, and you have a lot of skills there that oh, I'd love to um, be able to take part in some, some time. But um, I think I'll have to put it on the back burner for now um, until the world opens up a little and I can be my my free sovereign self without restrictions. Well, that's great nice to be here. Exactly. Thank you for saying that because that's exactly what we're working on. And, and uh, one of our teachers, which will come next time, she's really out there bringing, becoming sovereign of oneself. And we're, last year we were in total restriction, but we anyway opened. And this year we were not supposed to be opened and we were completely opened and, and we weren't supposed to have people, but we've had like 800 people pass by these few months when we were completely closed down, red, yellow, orange, and we don't know what color we are anymore. <laughs> And Rita's one of them. She came down when she was totally not allowed to. And she had a course here and we did it. So, you know, the thing is, once you are free inside, you are free in the world. And we're working on this. And one of the teachers who actually speaks Italian, but she will be translated because she will be in the next two Zooms. So if you can come in and just also hear what she has to say, it's really interesting. And unfortunately, or fortunately, maybe, our school is not an online school. We really chose to be like that, you know, to be able to, <laughs> to touch our students and, and our students touch us and be for real and for true. And for the moment, we're not thinking of, you know, if anything, we could possibly think of maybe in the future, people could sort of be at the lesson, but the important for, for us is, is that we are actually physically together because this is just what, someone out there is trying not for us to do and we are going to do it so for me when you want to come here there will be a way we're now going to find a way for Ibrahim to come here and even help him 
financially come here. So as it's possible for him, it will be possible for you. This is her job. She's learning how to be a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's possible. Some people will not be able to come here because they are in other things in life, but they have the money to do it. And they will finance those who, who don't have that possibility but want to do it. So, you know, there's, there's, if when you want, it happens. And then the, the idea is to create this kind of school wherever, you know. So, so Ireland might be the next place because you guys are pretty out there with exactly you're exactly the kind of student we're trying to give all that you were talking about here you learn about fermentation we have this he's going to be here next time as well Darko who's teaching how to make uh, you know raw food food and fermentation and and cheeses and all of this and and so much more I, I teach people here how to forage and how to cook with what they find you know, one could survive with what you find. And so you're doing this a bit too. And we also, part of the courses are to teach how to make your own beauty products or the products for the house. So exactly what you were saying. And the, and so much more, you know, as you're saying, but that's the, where also we want people to be able to do it and to choose that they can if they want, because, you know, it's best to do things your own. You know where... The produce comes from you know what you're putting on your skin you know what you're eating and so on and so forth so i think um it, you know this was a great introduction really i think possibly another reason joanna mentioned this to us is because we have created a group here uh, we live in the marketer myself joanna and a number of other people we are part of a group we're called supper and solutions and we're a really community oriented group um focused on solutions and moving forward to a new a new paradigm a new earth you know one without the constraints one where we can just you know, get on and live our lives and, as I said, be free sovereign beings. And we, we have realized that actually within our group, we have incredible skills, all of us. We, are, we have incredible skills amongst us. And just in time, uh, well, it's a real, it's a, it's, a, it's a brilliant template for us to possibly, isn't it, Marquetta? Something that we can possibly work towards ourselves, creating um, and setting something up like that. Because like that, you know, one shouldn't have to travel all the time to find what, what you want. You know, we can create it ourselves. Okay. So it's great to see what you're doing. It's great to listen to you. And in, we're expanding and growing. And with a bit of luck, maybe we can um, create what you guys have here on the west coast of Ireland. Of yeah, course. of course. And and then you know when there's a grid of like-minded people all over the world, you pass on. There's no more secrets. We we from the heart we share, and you will pass something to us, and we will pass something to you. And I will definitely come and help you set up. No problem. We said that most many of these teachers are ready to come and teach as well. We, we've always said it. With Hanako, we said, we will go to other places to, to pass on because it's like that, it's, it's important. Yeah. So the grid is- Well, what a wonderful dream. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. And there's another lady, I can only see admin. I don't know if that's your name. <laughs> Wait, your microphone. Yes, there, there I am. Um, I'm Nellen. I'm a friend of Hanako. Ah, nice to meet oh, you. Oh, and she, yes, and she, uh, she told me a lot of, about this school already, and uh, it's so interesting. And I really hope to be there one day. I don't know when, uh, with my family, because um, yeah, it's so interesting. Yes, I don't know what to say, but. Uh, I think it's the best there is, this, so. Well, it's pretty good, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and Pushpa, you met Nellen in Amsterdam. Yeah, you I met was thinking that because I could recognize, uh, it, wasn't it at your party or something? Yes, yeah, yeah I saw Hanako's place, yes. Right, right. Yeah. Well, so many parties are not cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely uh, will come to Italy. I don't know when, but I will, uh, yeah. I love and you this. Know she she paints like angels. Oh my god. Oh, so wow. we should have some paintings, you know. 
Oh well, okay. guess what? I wanted to paint some angel wings on the on yeah, the yeah, yeah. Then oh, we can do that. that. <laughs> we can Everybody do it. Waiting for you to do it. <laughs> yeah. So you, when you come with your family, we put yes. you to work. <laughs> That's great. I would love it. Yeah. I definitely will come. I don't know when, but uh, I will. We how many? Family. How many children do you have? Five. Oh, you too, Five. like Michelle. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. They all are, are all grown up now, and my daughter has children, so they, she is very interested in this as well. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, Super. yeah. So you should all come and do a family course, a course. Yes. Of, like, for example, yeah. blueprinting or whatever, something fun. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. Great <laughs> idea. Great. So we, we wait for you. No problem. All right. That's good. Super. <laughs> so everybody, thank you so much. Is there any other question or are we all good for this time? And then next time there'll be other teachers and more people who couldn't make it tonight. So it was a good, uh, thank you for being here and for, I was very anxious. Oh my God, if there's all the Irish friends of Joanna, what am I going to do? <laughs> no, it was okay. <laughs> I could handle it. <laughs> she told me 30 of my friends are interested. I said, don't tell me they're all coming tonight. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Super. It was the representation of the Irish. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Hi, teachers, for your time. How nice to see you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you. To feel Thank you. To touch you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Ciao, everybody. Thank you. See you soon. Love you. Good night. Thank you. Ciao. Have a good night. Ciao. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.